nice little river over here to the left that people are, there's abundance of people doing tubing on there. And we have a lot of sunspot glare. All right, we are entering the Smokies now. The Great Smoky Mountains National Park. That's awesome. Haven't been up here since last summer, I think. No, last September's when we were down here. September. Because we came down for the color change. So it was right around the color change, either September or October. Might have even been November. I don't even remember now. Gatlinburg sometime in the near future we're going over here to Kate's Cove. Oh what is that? Is that a turkey? That is a turkey. It's a big one huh? So who knows what kind of wildlife we'll see now. We did just see a turkey back there. Um, somebody that I was just talking to at the gas station said they saw a big black bear last night. Um, it'd be cool to see one during the day. But if we don't, we, you know, we didn't see alligators neither when we went to a couple places. So, like, if I look with a camera on, who knows what we'll see. We only so, need to see them if they're super far away. That, and that's fine. That's what I'm saying. I didn't realize that. Nice little walking thing, a little thing down there. Oh, that is cool. So I won't need my glasses, I guess, because it seems like we're going to be in a lot of shade. This is really cool. We're supposed to honk in the tunnels here. Who said that? Remember in Get when we drove through the Smokies? Like that the, you said that after somebody and then else people, did it. People were honking in the, the yes, tunnels? Yes, did. With those, did you see those guys down there fishing? But yeah, like, I'm like, what are they fishing. fishing for? Like, I mean, there's hardly no water. There's water down there. Not a whole lot.
Yeah, there's spots for it. That's interesting. I mean, you're around a curve, so it makes sense. It's really beauty beautiful over here. And our area's got boulders. Oh, like horses or something, maybe a little trailers. Oh, yeah. That must have been fun driving that trailer around.
almost like night and day compared to when we were over here last time because you, well, you can still see the leaves because they were they were at full color, so. Well, yeah, but, but uh, there were a lot more gaps in yeah. the trees so you could see further behind the trees. And now, like, I mean, now we've never been here before, but I'm talking about going through the 441 through New Gap, Newfound Gap Road. Uh, do this uh, that takes you over to North Carolina, uh, Cherokee, North Carolina, uh, from Gatlinburg. Uh, but this is the first time coming over here, and I imagine that that would that's the same. Uh, it looks the same uh, going over there now. Seven miles, we're gonna look for a place to pull over and come and pick me up. Shade. That's fine. There you go. That's the kind of camera we need. That's look the, at that. That's not the camera, that's the lens. I, but either way, that's huge. They're, I wonder if they saw something. Is there a bear down there? Oh. was a bear and some cubs that were saw back there I got it on my phone a little bit from a distance but like it was a distance somebody honked their horn and I imagine they spooked it but now the the whole side of the road back there is full of cars and people um, and she's it I mean it sucks that the animals are running like that so um, but I got a little bit on my phone that I could see her standing up from a distance but it was really hard to see um, so I guess we'll see what I got. I don't. I honestly don't even know. Um, 
but it was kind of cool, you know, like seeing that out in nature. Maybe we'll see another one that's closer. So I didn't get to see gators, but got to see bears. Yeah. Which bears you've been looking for for almost a year now. <laughs> a bear and, and two cubs. Um, but like I said, I saw her, I could see movement, but they were so far away. And they're in Caves Cove. And this place is notorious for seeing bears. Like I said, they're they're all over the place over here, um, which is kind of scary, you know, when you think about it. <laughs> so, but I mean that that this is their natural habitat. So and minus all the people. My, yeah, minus all the people. So. So, oh, we're going straight. Well, alright. We're going straight because you haven't said to go to the visitor center. Well, there was bathrooms back there. Alright. All right. But you still have five and a half miles. Yeah. Well, you could go there. Caves Code Scenic Route, 11 miles. So this is one way, I believe, now. I sure hope so. If this is two-way... It's only 20 miles an hour. So hopefully we'll get to see some more wildlife here. I sure hope this is only one way. Well, this... yeah, because it's a loop. <laughs> Actually, we should... That's fine. Because it can work that way. Danger, what does that say? Stay, Stay back, back 50, 30, yards 50 yards from elk and bear. Okay, so Probably there's elk. whatever. That's kind of cool. Any wildlife. I would like to see an elk out here. I know that they re established them um, not too long ago. use a zoom on the camera so when I was trying to zoom in I couldn't on no on that on that like there's a way to do that but I, I what I didn't know that you yeah you had to go into the settings so donation So who knows what kind of wildlife we'll see, but I'm suspecting because it's during the daytime, the chances of actually seeing any uh, is probably going to be slim because I would suspect that they're more nocturnal. Well, bears are. Um, so again, I got lucky seeing those, and that's only because somebody pointed it out. Um, but, you know, it was kind of a distance. I mean, you could kind of see the bear, but it was still kind of a ways out, so... It'd be kind of cool to see one in here. But we probably won't. Who knows? Still pretty cool. Very pretty. here mm -hmm. on the road yeah. oh okay that makes sense there's the horses well, some horses oh yeah there's quite are those wild no no they gotta be people horses I 
nine miles to exit. So I wonder what that sign was about that said two to three hours. Mm -hmm. That maybe <laughs> traffic. Oh, we caught up to everybody. Yes, we did. I'll do I'll just oh it's just like a walking trail or some sort. Of. This is kind of cool. My thought is if you see a wild animal, maybe sit, don't tell anybody because somebody was actually honking the horn, like I said back there, and you're gonna spook them anyway, so. Arkansas. Arkansas. Is that how you say Arkansas? Arkansas? I'm pretty sure it's Arkansas. <laughs> They're from Arkansas. Yeah, you can't even, you wouldn't be able to see anything. That is so awesome. I'm so glad I get to do this with the wind. <laughs> and Florida, if you're a big Jeep. It's got a dash full of ducks. Can you see that? Oh, they're sitting out the back. <laughs> the red vehicle in front of us had their gate open, and their kids are sitting with their feet hanging out the back um, as you drive slow through here. Oh, so they don't stop hard. That's kind of what I was thinking. Well, I'll get driven over by the car behind them. That would not be good. I think maybe the thing was like the loop is like maybe two to three hours if you're actually spending the time to stop and look at the scenery and, and, and walk maybe. But other than that, I don't know how that would be two to three hours. So, I don't think so. yeah, I guess I shouldn't say anything. So. They get the same thing when I saw that. So. This reminds me of kind of what's that Jay today? Fall Creek Falls mm -hmm. with the little one narrow road that's one way. You know, I I guess if I didn't have mobility issues, I wonder if I would go camping still. I just the whole poison ivy and poison oak amongst other things kind of freaks me out a little bit because I don't want to I don't want to get that stuff on me like that stuff was kind of scary you know like and then being all itchy and having a calamine lotion and then you know I don't know how long that takes you know so yeah Did you 
see what there is or not? What? No, but did you actually see them? On, they were kind of back there. I mean, they were a good 100 yards away. Oh, you know, I bet they're in my... in, in the. I have to, I have to look. I I know they're in there. Get some Smoky Mountain air in here. I wonder what a Smoky Mountain air freshener smells like. Now that I think about it. <laughs> we made it up to what was causing the slowdown and it's a bunch of people pulled off. So there must be some sort of wild animal over here but I can't see anything so. And if there was, they probably got chased away. Maybe they're up in the tree. So, let's see if they can tell us. I don't know. Everybody's getting back in their cars now. So, whatever it was, maybe it's gone probably anyway. long gone. Well, they're still filming up here somewhere, so. They have the super long lenses. Oh yeah, he's gonna be able to see whatever. Well, so is it a bear or what? Yeah. It's way out there, I imagine. Under the shade of the tree. Oh, it's a little black bear. Oh well. So it was it was a little baby one. It was underneath the tree. It looked like, but that was what was causing a traffic jam there. Uh, so that's kind of cool. I didn't even get a chance. To, like I'm not gonna stop because it's hard enough to get back in traffic back there. So poor little animals. Do what? Some of these two-lane roads that they're calling like them, yeah, lanes. they are very, uh, like, I don't know how you're fitting two cars down there. They do have little pull-offs, so if you would see the person, you could pull off, I guess, but that is, that's insane. Oh, back to the shade we go again, I guess. Don't need these. That's why it said that. So. Rich Road. Another church over here. I don't know if Missionary these churches. Baptist church. I don't. I mean, at one time I think that they all oh, found it in 1839. So at one time, these these churches were getting used. Something was fire. Something back there was on fire a while back. But I, I'm. I don't know if they're using them still to this day. They could be. For they campers. yeah they could. But I I, I don't know. Or it could just be a historical. I think it's a historical thing. That one had like rocks holding it up. It was just they really were weird. Flat rocks. I know, but it was just from really people weird. Who put bricks under. Bricks are different. Bricks are di that, like they were. They were weird rocks. Kind of weird. Look at your mountains. That is pretty cool.
bunch more people pulled off up here, so... I mean, it's so hard with the scenery and everything, but th there's wild animals everywhere. Uh, it's just you got to figure out where. And, and of course, some of the people, like like we saw that one guy had that huge lens on that camera. Like, I mean, the lens on the camera was probably a foot long, if not even if not longer. But you know, he's getting good shots. <laughs> like, I mean, that is so cool. I can just imagine, like, the lens probably cost more than the camera. Oh yeah, lenses are expensive. And that's, that's insane. Still really beautiful. Oh, and we get to come around and look at the mountains now, the mountainside, so very neat. And an open pasture. Those mountains are so beautiful. Look at that. So gorgeous. Show, the show, trees. Show. So there's an elk over here. You have to keep driving though. Right by the tree. See him up over there? He kind of blends in. Either that's an elk or a deer. Something. Uh, I think it's a deer. It's one of those animals with four legs. I know they got elk here somewhere in, a, in the Smoky Mountains. They re reintroduced them, so. Huh. I can imagine during dusk or like dawn out here, like this is probably a good area to be. Like, it would be pretty cool, I imagine. That seemed really big to be a, a, a deer, but I mean, didn't it seem kind of tall? No, they're all over the highway. Well, they have little deer here. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That one seemed kind of quite big, you know, like. Well, if nobody's bothering it, and it's got lots of stuff to eat. But it was tall, so. Now we're just a moving it on, moving on up to the side. There's a song about like that called Moving On Up. Yeah, that goes with the TV show. What's this TV show called? Do you remember? It's like the Jeffersons or something. Oh, the Jeffersons, yes. Gwen knows that. She used to watch that in black and white. <laughs> I used to watch Gilligan's Island. Like in the morning for school. Like before school. Yep, yep, yippers. Orange flowers. 
Orange flowers bring May showers, I hear. Mm, Maybe not. not Something's five point seven. What? Look at the, look at the sign. <laughs> that, uh, is, that is that walk, is interesting. Walk your bikes. <laughs> I don't think I've ever well, seen that's a sign nice like that. that. They tell you that. I don't think I've ever seen a sign like that. That's pretty funny. I would hate to be riding a bike and have it flip over like that. Yeah, me too. I'm surprised there's no bald eagles or anything. And I imagine there would be. Parking for LJ Elijah, Elijah Oliver Trail. Imagine that's the trail. Yep. Oh. It Do not blockade. purpose for the bob wire i mean like the animals are going to go around this anyway you don't like, know maybe it's electrified it's not a, no you would see the little knobs on there if it was mm -hmm. electrified maybe it's to keep people out okay oh from drive all right you do have a good point since you saw all the people hopping yep, out yep, and doing yep, things yep. maybe all right, it's that, to keep the people on the side that makes and sense. not anything for the animals that makes sense now Slithering snakes everywhere. <gasps> oh, look at the little Aww, bridge. Little narrow bridge. This is just okay. <laughs> just okay. One car bridge. I'm just okay with the one car bridge, I guess. Just okay. Dun, 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 dun. Trailhead. So we are not going that nope, way. No, we're going straight. We're turning right at the next road. Maybe we'll get to see some bears now. Elephants, giraffes, something. Closer than 100 yards away. <laughs> <laughs> Tigers or something. Yeah, probably not. This year. <laughs> I'm just joking. I know that none of that stuff other than the bears would be here. It was just kind of funny. Since they happen to be far and in between too. <laughs> but I imagine during dusk or dawn, you'd probably have a good chance at seeing them. That was a bear there, but that was a trunk, a tree trunk. Tricky. Tricky tree trunk. Tricky, tricky trunk. So this must be the Cape Cape's Cove Visitor Center. Yep, so we just need to turn to the right. And then hopefully we can figure out before we start driving down where we need Parsons to Branch Road is straight. Okay, we're so, turning to the but not, oh, go ahead. It's a so loop. Parsons Branch Road is that one right there, what we want to take. Okay. Was it called Branch? Or yeah, Parson, Parsons? Parson Branch Road. So maybe we need to confirm. It's that's... Parson Branch, that's what it is. Okay. Like I, I did all the Googling, Are Googlies. No, no, Ingram just doing the Googlies. Oh, don't tell me that's bathrooms over there. That is bathrooms over there. Wait, 
Is there some kind of building up ahead? Maybe. Yeah, maybe that's bathrooms. Or is that, oh, that's a visitor center. Maybe restrooms are this way. Where? This way. Where do you see that? There's a sign that said restrooms. Oh, that's right there, restrooms, probably. Good thing we're gonna eat here. Probably say goodbye here. All right, so we'll stop it here, and then when we start on Parson Branch Road, we'll turn it back on, so. Goodbye but, for now. See you guys in a little bit. Y'all.